If you're wondering about the cost of your backflow valve test, you've come to the right place. Let's break it down in a more casual chat. I'm Royce Murphy from Golden Rule. So, backflow testing. Prices can swing quite a bit, depending on whether you hire a certified backflow tester or a licensed plumber that is certified to test backflow valves. Remember that certified backflow testers can handle those essential city certifications and repairs if needed. However, if your device needs replaced, you will need a licensed plumber to come out and replace the valve and then have your certified tester come back and test the valve. Here at Golden Rule, our certified backflow testers are also licensed plumbers, saving you a trip and money in the long run. For most of us with valves at our homes, typically used in irrigation, you're looking at shelling out somewhere between $150 to $300. But here's a quick snapshot of the pricing spectrum. On the low end, you can expect to pay $100 to $200 for a certified backflow tester that's not a licensed plumber. The average cost usually falls from $150 to $300. If you have multiple valves, it might edge up to $300 to $600. Now let's talk about the stuff that can make your bill go up or down. It can feel like a game of plumbing roulette. First off, if your backflow device fails the initial test and needs fixing, you'll be looking at extra costs for either repairs or replacement. Lastly, brace yourself for those city fees and paperwork. Every person that is certified for backflow testing must renew their license through continuing education every other year and renew their backflow gauge calibration every year just like you test your valve every year, just so everyone is getting the most accurate test. Most cities charge a filing fee to the tester, which is typically passed on to the homeowner as part of the test fee. And remember, in many areas, you must get your backflow device checked out by a certified backflow tester every year if it's hooked up to the drinking water supply. Now, what goes down during these tests, you ask? It can vary slightly depending on who's doing the testing and what kind of backflow valve you've got. But here's the lowdown if you have an RPZ or reduced pressure zone assembly, which most people in Iowa have. They'll look at your valves and water lines to ensure everything's properly installed and up to code. The main part of the test is checking to make sure the three main components of your valve are working properly. That involves checking the spring tension on both check valves and relief valve, and making sure those components are seating and opening completely. No leaks or corrosion should be lurking in your backflow preventer setup. Finally, they'll file all the necessary reports with the city and your water supplier, you know, just to keep things official. You might be thinking, hey, can I DIY this and save some cash? The short answer would be yes. However, in order to do so, you must complete a backflow training course to get certified and purchase a set of gauges in order to do the test. You also must now renew your license every other year and renew your certification on your backflow gauges just to test your valve once a year. In Iowa, for instance, you have to have a qualified tester register with the Iowa Department of Public Health to do the job. Sure, you can test it yourself with the required credentials, but it won't save you any money. Most certified backflow testers will charge you somewhere between $150 to $300 to check out your backflow prevention device. A small price for keeping your water supply safe and sound. So there you have it, a friendly chat about backflow testing and how it might affect your wallet. Remember, it's not just about money, it's about making sure your water stays clean and safe. Thanks for tuning in.